They met just about a month ago. As you see, the former U.S. international, Jose Torres. It was actually just back on the 22nd of June, a little over a month ago, in that 3-2 victory here at Bold Stadium with the opportunity. Those of you soccer fans, not to be confused with the Yaya Toure, the former Ivory Coast great, Man City man. Not a bad name, game to emulate. Pino, top of the 18, puts it on the left, bends it around and finds the back of the net. Torres with the opener. Juan Pablo Torres puts Austin up in the 12th. Everyone sucks toward the ball and it frees out some space for Torres on that right Your side. He had a lot of daylight, just one defender to bend it around, looked up, and just way too much space allowed for Torres at the top of the box there. Beautifully placed, curled into that far corner. Sent to the back post, coming in, Panico, a one-handed stop. Switchbacks trying to stretch Austin out, use the full width allotted. Here with Beckford, Shane Beckford trying to cut inside, looking to the near post. And he's found his target, a goal for the switchback, somehow able to get that one in, and I believe it was the 16-year-old, it was indeed. But great end line run here. Nice cross and a really fantastic run to that near post. And all Yappy had to do was just redirect this, flick it on. And boy, that's a thin little window there. We haven't really seen too much physicality actually in this match, which was kind of surprising to me. I thought it would have been a little bit more physical. Beckford knocked away by Reese. Shot just over the top. Did Panico get a touch to it? The referee says he does not. He did not. Took it. Cuts back, Doof by Mayaka, still Doof, lays it off, Hernandez into the back of the net, Colin Fernandez puts Austin ahead, 80 minutes in. Beautiful sequence here, and then Doof just hits an end line that really love these square back passes to a trailing runner unmarked there and all you have to do is just slot it in a corner and just out of the reach there. Troncoso wisely lets this one head to touch as the referee blows the final whistle and it's Austin who comes away victorious a second half goal.